So today I have an Audio Source SS6 surround sound processor. So this unit was brought in to me and the complaint is one channel is lower than the other channel. So let's go ahead and just pop the top off and take a look around inside before we go any farther whatsoever. Well, there is certainly a lot going on inside of this thing. Look at this Dolby processor I see over here. Some audio power amplifiers here. A bunch of low-level processing going on in here. So let's go ahead and hook this up. I'll put the signal generator into it and we'll see if we have equal levels coming out. Okay, so I've got the unit connected. I've got a 1000 Hertz audio signal going into the left and right audio. I have the front output connected to my stereo receiver. So let's turn up the volume. Oh, listen to that static. That's bad right off the bat. And I'm only getting the test tone from the left channel. But listen to how scratchy that is. Well, let's see if we can hit it with some Deoxit D5 and see if we can help that out. Okay, so now to get access to the pot, the input level pot right here, I need to pull this board completely out. But I think I'm going to take a shortcut because most of these cables look like they unplug from the circuit board over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll put a couple witness marks on these in case they're the same pin configuration. That way we don't get them plugged in the wrong plugs. Okay, so what I did, if you look at the plugs, I made marks on both the plug side and the connector side. And each one is unique. Some are spaced far apart, some are spaced close together. Some are really far apart, and so I put marks on all these connectors so I can get them plugged back in the right connectors. So that's just a tip. If you take something apart, sometimes you'll have multiple plugs with the same number of wires, and they could interchange. So put some unique marks on the connectors so you don't get them plugged into the wrong connectors. So next we'll go ahead and just remove all the screws in here. So make sure you're using your screw separator, in my case, my egg carton container, so you don't get them mixed up. All right, there we go. Now we can get access to that pot and get some deoxid in there to do some good. We'll give it three good shots of deoxid, work the pot back and forth a bunch of times, put it back together and see if we get better results. All right, so the front's back on it. Let's reconnect all the cables using the witness marks I put on there. Make sure they all go back in the right connectors. All right, all good. Let's go ahead and hook it back up and see if we get different results. Okay, well, much better. We certainly don't get that static. Okay, so I've got the unit hooked up here. Some copyright-free audio playing into it. Now this is only the built-in audio amplifier. So I have my external amplifier right here. I don't know if you can see it, but the volume is at minimum right now. Now I did connect a couple of surround speakers up here. Got one over here. I've got a center channel speaker up here. And a left channel surround speaker over here. So I'm only using the surround speakers at this time. So let's go ahead and turn up the volume on the Sony receiver. You can definitely tell the difference, it's working fine. Okay, so there it is, the Audio Source SS6 
So all it really needed was to have that volume pot cleaned. And that's it. It's working great. I see no difference between the right and the left channels at this point. Well, I definitely want to give a shout out to all those people who have contributed to my YouTube channel with the PayPal donate button. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It really helps my channel grow. Remember, you can contact me on social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at NorCal715, or send me an email, norcal715videos at gmail.com. Go ahead and leave a comment, a suggestion, a criticism. I'll try to answer you as best I can. Remember, with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everybody have a great day. I really appreciate you watching this video. Bye-bye.